And now, this fight, three three-minute rounds in the SFL middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner, a mixed martial artist standing at five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 185 pounds and represents wartime MMA. Here is William El Gringo Waffle Hollister. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting in the blue corner. A mixed martial artist standing at five feet, ten inches tall. He weighed in at 185 pounds and represents Kirkland Academy. Here it is, Ed Kirkland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge is Sean Stan. Ladies and gentlemen. We are set for this middleweight bout. William Hollister out of the red corner and Matt Kirkland out of the blue corner. A oh, heavy leg kick landed right off the bat for Kirkland. Kirkland gets tossed on his back. That's an old school uh, takedown there. Yeah, the old Okimana. Now, Kirkland can actually take the back here. Oh. Um, a little scarf, scarf choke here from Hollister. And he bails on it. Going to spin into side control here. Might want to watch out. Couple strikes. Kirkland can take the back here. Yeah, he's going the wrong way, though. He's got to turn into him. Try to hook his leg around. Grab his lat. Oh, now he's in side control. Is Hollister... Tons of pressure here. He's flattened out his opponent. Now he's in a better position to land strikes. Oh, these punches are doing some damage here. Yeah, a series of elbows. The referee might stop this. Hollister's going to have to do something. Oh, he's almost out. Hollister might want to wor worry about spending all of his energy trying to take Kirkland out here, though. Is Kirkland holding in tight. Yeah, Kirkland elbowing the leg of Hollister. It wasn't terribly effective. Hollister sure likes his side control position. Yeah, it's a real dominant position. Excellent control position. Some guys actually favor it over the full mount. That seems to be uh, Hollister's go-to right here instead of going for full mount. Yeah, he's... Man, Hollister's had a tremendous amount of pressure. Yeah, he's, 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 he's trying to work for, for something. Maybe reaching for that arm over there. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm if he can. It looks like he really wants to spin it north-south. Maybe attack a trip from there. But now he's attacking the far arm for the Kimura. Or a straight arm lock. Get that There's the straight arm lock. Straight arm lock. Trying to lock it up. It's, it's, it's there. It is there. He's, he's got it in. Oh. Or submission to pull off, though. Yeah, this is a, a definitely a tough one. Also known as a caveman on a bar. Uh, the defense is, is real easy for that. Oh. But there's elbows. That, uh, he said, I'm not going to let you get this submission, so instead we'll just give him some punches for good measure. And you know, Andy, those, those strikes can actually open up a submission. Oh, Kirkland rolling over, though. He might end up giving his back up here. Yeah, Hollister's been smothering this entire time. Yeah, he's definitely had heavy weight pressure on him the whole time. Ten seconds left. Looks like Hollister might actually make it out of this round. A little explosion here. Could he get the finish? Can Hollister get the finish? He's trying. Oh, Kirkland will survive the round. Great round for Hollister. Yeah, that was top game. Smothering pressure. Crazy, crazy dominant there for Hollister. Let's see, let's see what he's got in round two. And let's see what Kirkland has in round two. So I'll snap cleaning up some of that ice out of the cake before we start this next round here. Yeah, excellent officiating by Sean Spaff. Uh, Hollister instantly closing the distance, looking to get top position again. Looking to repeat the first round here. Kirkland has been having a real hard time with that pressure that Hollister's been able to put on him. And yeah. he drags him down to the mat again. Yeah, this is definitely not how Kirkland wanted to uh, start this fight. But excellent job by Kirkland of achieving the body lock. on tightly with his legs, so much so that I can see his legs shaking. 
Yeah, he's trying to just lock down the position here, maybe hoping for a stand-up. He can stall out long enough. The ref might stand him up. You also burn yourself out by doing that. So it's a bit of a gamble. Those elbows of Hollis here have just been scoring all night. Thus far, we have not seen any escapes from Kirkland or any submission attempts off his back. No, he's kind of been in survival mode, just uh, defending off submissions, um, trying to uh, lock down the half guard position here. But Hollister isolating, going for the key lock. Hollister, Americana, is Americana. Solid, man. He's, he's had put this pressure on him. He's been looking for these submissions. He's got ground and pound the entire time. Kirkland's really offered no defense from his back. Yeah, he's doing a good job of trying to tie up his, his Kirkland, but it's, it's really just not enough. Hollister's content to sit here in this half guard and throw down punches and, you know, fish for arm locks. Yeah, Hollister seems content to just... Lockdown has given a warning to Hollister, though, for, you know, when the fire's turning his head, he's throwing those elbows and hitting in the back of the head. Kimura attempts here for Hollister, isolating the arm. See if he can step over the head of Kirkland now. Well, going for that straight arm lock again, it looks like. Yeah, good defense for that Kimura is training your arm, but when you do, you expose yourself to that straight arm lock. This one's definitely deeper than the last one. Let's see if he can pull it off. Yeah, it's really tough to pull it you off. You can see his elbow bending backwards now slowly here. But again, it's the hardest mission to pull off, especially when that adrenaline's pumping. Yeah, absolutely. Tremendous part by Kirkland. There's no quitting this kid. I mean, the knees are scoring from the bottom, but his arm is in jeopardy. Ten seconds left. He's got to do something here in this next round if he gets out of this one. Because we're probably looking at two rounds apiece in the books for Hollister. Oh, oh absolutely. Next one, one, two rounds forward. in the books. Hollister's up. He just has to survive the next round. He's still in the decision. <laughs> All right, third and final round. Let's see if Kirkland can make something happen. Yeah, he's got to go hell Mary with this one. This oh, nice knees to the midsection from Kirkland. Oh. Uh, looks like he's going to get taken right back down. Yeah, Hollister got right up under the hips. Got the easy takedown. And it's, it looks like it might be more of the same here, unless, Hollister, unless Kirkland does something different. Coming up later this evening, we have a light heavyweight bout between our champion, Tyus Thomas, taking on our middleweight champion, Troy Kane, in a super fight. Troy Kane with the opportunity to become a champ champ. Tyus Thomas, the chance to defend his throne. Yeah, that's an excellent fight we have later this evening, Eddie. We also have the 105 Adam Weight female championship this evening also. Yeah, that's right. At least Reed taking on Samantha Steph. Vacant Adam Wake belt on the line. That's going to be fire. And for the vacant 170 pound welterweight, we also have Daryl Tate versus Kyle Wright to crown a new champion at welterweight. And we have Hollister now isolating the forearm again. Looks like he's going for the Americana this time. Hopefully, he can try to bridge out of it somehow, but it's not. Yeah, I mean he's doing a job, a good, you know, he's done a good job of not getting submitted thus far. Oh, his elbows. The ref might uh, want to take a look at that. That's uh, those are adding up. It's like pick your poison. Do you want to defend this submission or do you want to block these elbows? You know, Hollister's been fishing for this submission all night. Yeah, it's been a lot of Kimura attempts, straight arm lock attempts, and elbows. And he's just content to kind of fish for the submission, punish the opponent where, he's, where he can, and just kind of ride this one out. Kirkland's really offered no defense, so I don't see why we're doing it now. Got the Americano. Let's see if he can finish. Sweep the, sweep the hand across the mat. 
Tons of heart, man. Tons of heart coming from Kirkland. He's a... Uh, yeah, he's definitely not giving up. Definitely tons of heart. Just lacks a little bit more ground game that Hollister has. I mean, these are nice knees from the bottom, but they're not doing much to improve the position, and they're not fight enders. Yeah, and they don't really do much on the judge's eyes either. Yeah, so it's almost, it's almost a waste of energy. Obviously, it's a good distracting technique. Give your opponent an input to think about. Ten seconds left, and this fight is almost over. One of the votes for William Hollister. Yeah, William Hollister, dominant decision win over Matt Kirkland. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 to 26, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, William El Gringo Hollister!